squash! We went to the Berkeley Farmer's Market where I picked up this adorable little personal-sized butternut squash. Hard winter squashes. They're available right now. Their harvesting season ends in late summer, early fall, but because of their high storability factor, they will be available well into the colder months. They were definitely present around that first Thanksgiving in America all those years ago because squash were part of the triad, the three sisters that were the staples of the Native American diet at that time. I'm talking beans, corn, and squashes. In fact, our word squash comes from the Massachusetts Indian word ascuda squash, meaning eaten raw or uncooked. Hard winter squashes like this one are a great source of all kinds of important nutrients. Their rich orange color indicates that they're very high in vitamin A, beta carotene, and the wonderful antioxidant beta cryptoxanthin. I just wanted to say that name. They're also a great source of vitamin C, folate, fiber, as well as a pretty good source of omega-3 fatty acids. And that's important because having a healthy balance between omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids is very important for cell health, neuron health, brain health, all things that we want to keep alive and well. And since omega-3 fatty acids are easily damaged by heat, it's an interesting idea to consider eating this raw. That's what we're going to do today. Squash! Today, you are witnessing the dawning of a new era. A new era of convenience and understanding. A new era of clarity. We are instituting a rating system for the difficulty of our recipes. The Freshtopian Blender Rating System. It's going to go from one being the easiest to five being so challenging I perhaps shouldn't even be attempting it. Today's recipe? For squash pasta with pistachio pesto, you will need one half cup fresh sage, one half cup raw pistachios, one third cup olive oil, small clove of garlic, one tablespoon nutritional yeast, salt and pepper to taste, and four cups julienne shredded squash. Squash. I'm going to be using my beloved handy dandy julienne vegetable slicer. It looks like a peeler, but it makes things into long, thin shreds. If you don't have one of these guys, you should, because they're cheap and very, very useful. You could use a mandolin if you have one of those, or you could also use a spiralizer, which will make it into long, thin spirals. And the first thing you're going to do is peel this guy with a regular vegetable peeler. We've got our squash peeled, now it's time to julienne and shred it. Set aside your squash, and it's time to make the pesto. Here I have a clove of garlic, and what I'm going to do, I've peeled it, as you can see, and I'm going to devein it, which means I'm going to pull out that center kind of shoot. And that's where a lot of the kind of hotness and like burning, like, you know, unpleasant garlicky aftertaste comes from. Removing that central little bit really helps kind of leave you with the, the flavor of garlic that you like and not so much of the nasty aftertaste that you might not. Here's the guy. Here's the culprit right here. I'm going to just coarsely chop the garlic to kind of give the food processor a little bit of a head start and make sure it's nicely incorporated. Then I'm going to put it into the food processor along with my sage leaves, pistachio nuts, pepper, salt, olive oil, and a little dash of nutritional yeast. Then I'm going to blend it all until it's saucy. So as you can see, it is a nice saucy consistency, but there are still some little chunks. You want to leave the little flavorful nubbins in there. And this is rich and delicious. It has a lot of oil in it, but in the colder months, I really, really like to eat something that's rich. I find it very comforting and satisfying. Speaking of which, let's put this on some of our squash shreds and give it a taste. flavors of the pistachio is really strong and distinctive, and I love pistachios, so it's really wonderful. Also, there's that rich kind of earthy quality from the sage, and the kind of 
bright, sweet quality from the squash. Absolutely delicious. Together, a match made in heaven. Or on Freshtopia.net. If you haven't already, be sure to sign up for our email list. Go to Freshtopia.net, enter your preferred email address in the form at the top right, and you will receive recipes, updates, and fun tips. You make things so shishi looking, we're going to lose our street cred. Shh. <laughs> just because we're, 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 we're street doesn't mean we don't make nice things.